This is Mike Ruffone coming to you live from the campus of Calvin College with a News 8 minicam where the worst controversy in the college's 100-year history is raging on. No, we're not talking about dancing or movie going or playing cards or which way the toilet paper hangs off the roll. We're talking about the real meaty issues. Should the tone deafs, a rock band of highly questionable artistic merit, be allowed to perform for its 13th consecutive time? Or should the college finally take a firm stand and end this fiasco once and for all? We now join Dean Staub in his office live. Look at these bills, Glenn. New carpeting for the manor house? 3,000 bucks? Replace the sink and the toilet? New wallpaper? The tone deaf's racked up over $15,000 in damages last year in the manor house alone. It looks worse than the Schultz Inner Lobby. Not to say anything about motorcycles in the library lobby. Hey, Look, I'm an artist man, okay? I need space to express my creative potential, dude. Space? As far as I'm concerned, you've got enough space between your ears, bub. All right, look at this year's budget. 26,000 bucks for go-go dancers? Another 32,000 for leather spandex pants? Mr. Bulltice, we can no longer afford to pander to your overinflated ego. But Dean, stop. Go-go dancers are a necessity in today's highly competitive entertainment biz. I mean, how can we expect to meet the ever-increasing demands of our student market? Today's rock audiences are just much more sophisticated than they were even five years ago. Yes, but why go-go dancers? Why not clumpin' dancers? Clumpin' dancers? Why, yes, we could, uh, we could have a big dike up there on the platform and, yeah. and like windmills off to the sides and and a factory over here that would build wooden shoes would be great. Gee, Dean, I don't know. This show is getting harder and harder to do each year. I think I need a sabbatical. Ah, uh, we... Hold it, Glenn. We've got a contract, baby. You've got to do this show. We've already sold out all the tickets. Think about the tone-deaf T-shirts. Think about all those junior high girls singing out there, Glennie, play me yabba-dabba-doo. But, Dean, stop. That's just it, okay? I'm... I'm a married guy now. I'm, I'm in my 30s. I've, I've got a corporate image to think about. So what do you folks think? Yeah, you folks right there in the audience. I mean, what would you do if you were me? Do you think it's dumb? Do you think it's childish? I mean, should I forever just hang up my rocking shoes? Should I forever just turn my back on the one thing that sets me apart from all those other schmucks back there at work? Well? Yeah. What? No. Well? No. Should I? No. Sure. I know I'm no Bruce Springsteen. You can say that again. I'm a realist, but uh, am I just like a, like a boxer who should have hung his gloves up year, years ago? And if I do retire, who's going to fill my shoes? Glennie, I hate to break it to you, but Johnny Primus has been itching to put on a guitar. He's ready for a career change. You gotta be kidding. You can't let that happen. Okay, we'll do the show, but, but can I rent the giraffes? No. The conga dancers? No. Oh, the shark from Jaws 3? No, no, no. Well, that settles it. I'm not doing the show. You're not doing the show. I'm not doing the show. You're not doing the show. I'm not doing the show. I've had enough to hear, so don't remind us. I'm not doing the show. Well, if you want to rock and roll, you can have John Primus. We're not doing the show. I'm singing guy rocking anymore. Not doing the show. No. We just can't do it. We're not doing the show. We're not doing the show. So listen, honey, please refund my money. I'm not doing the show. I don't mean to be radical, I just need us a better color. We're not doing the show. I'm sick and tired of rocking anymore. We're not doing the show. No, we just can't do it. We're not doing the show again.
Dean, I'm not doing the show. Okay, Glenn, fine. I respect your decision after all. You don't owe anything to this college, you know. This fine college nestled on the east side of this sleepy little town called Grand Rapids. This is the school that gave you a chance to live out your little rock and roll dream. Sure, go ahead. Turn your back on the faculty and students here who supported you through 13 years of marginal mediocre performances sure some of these shows stank but did we ever let on no we kept on glenn even when your guitar was out of tune even when the pa was feeding back we kept cheering you supporting you nurturing you because you know glenn in a big baseball game of life when you step up to the plate everybody's out there watching you it doesn't matter if you make contact all that matters man is that you're out there swinging dean stop <laughs> that's the most beautiful thing i've ever heard that settles it i'm doing a show okay folks the hype is over and so is this video get yourself prepared for the most bombastic experience in rock and roll history we're talking about the band that sneered in the face of disco poo-pooed pop heaved at heavy metal puked at polka ladies and gentlemen get your hands together for the most outrageous band in rock and roll history ladies and gentlemen the tune deaths <laughs> <laughs> 